What's up guys? Nedu here. Welcoming you to Area Code, your favorite show in Africa. When ex Nigerian president Obasanjo flagged off the project in Asaba, five days before he handed over in 2007, the then incoming administration of Omaru Musa Yaradwa effectively inherited a 58.6 billion naira proposed cost for a six lane, 1.8 kilometer toll bridge. It was slated to be completed in three and a half years under a public-private partnership. Unfortunately, the subsequent death of President Yaradwa marred the progress of the project. Later in 2014, the groundbreaking ceremony was done by former President Goodluck Jonathan. Today, going at a cost of 336 billion naira, as budgeted, the second Niger Bridge, which was redesigned and as good as done at 91% completion rate, is promised by the Buhari administration to be open for use by the end of 2022. Is there a definitive date now uh, when that project will be delivered? As of today, where we are is that the bridge as a component from Onicha to Asaba is finished. So you can drive from the bridge end to on Asaba to Onicha and land. What remains is the approach route. Work is going on on the uh, Onicha side from the Weary Interchange. Now we are trying to create the Asaba link, which is about a four kilometer route, just to link it on the Asaba side. To keep up with what we are cooking here and always, quickly and kindly subscribe to our channels on all social media platforms. Area Code is a tour show on a mission to recapture the sights and sounds of Africa. Second Niger Bridge is a key national infrastructure with immense benefits for social economic value to the surrounding community and the nation at large. This landmark project was born out of, among other reasons, the extreme need to ensure a stress-free movement across the River Niger. The scope of works include the construction of 1.6 km long bridge, ten point three km highway, Or interchange, and a toll station. The bridge can be accessed from the interchange at Oba on the Onicha Owere Road and on the Asaba end, a link road connecting the bridge from the Benin Onicha Road is being constructed to improve the transport infrastructure. Simply put, a second gateway to the east
Right now, I'm having a chat with Engineer Nnamdi Nnadozie, who is Principal Resident Engineer of the Second Niger Bridge. Okay, so obviously, this project has been long expected. It's been a long time coming, and the level of work here is impressive. So, what do you think we need to know extra about this project? It's an exciting project that uh, almost completed. It took a lot of work since um, 2018. We've been working day and night to deliver on the mandate. So under the watch of the Honorable Minister for Works and Housing, it's been exciting for some of us who, who are opportune to be on the project. And graciously, we are we're almost done. How has the experience been for you personally, working on this project? It's been an amazing experience. Um, most of the technology deployed on the road are all new. So it's been a learning curve for most of our engineers on site. And even the locals and artisans that participated in the construction of the project. You know, this project has been a long time coming and it's especially a huge relief for commuters going to and fro eastern Nigeria. This is big, really. This is big. It's a relief to see the progress it has made. Mm -hmm. But can we hear from you on how far off we've come on the project? Yes, the project is almost ready for commissioning. We are currently at 96.8% completion. And we are hoping to just um, put in the finishing touches before oh. it um, commissioned. Wow, guys, 96.8 yeah. progress towards completion. That's big. It's already done, you know. So 96.8 96 sounds like good news. We all know what the experience is like coming home to the east for the festive season. What are we expecting? When are we going to have access to this project to ease that stress? that commuters experience coming home for Christmas, heading to Onicha or coming into Asaba with the Christmas period in view. Okay, the um, Minister for Works uh, and Housing, uh, Robert Sunday Raji Fashola SAN, has graciously approved that the road be opened up partially to commuters for the Utide season to ease um, the pressure on the, on the existing bridge. Okay. So guys, you've heard it, December will be smooth, jolly ride through this laudable project by Julius Berger, right? On that, the watchful eye of the Honorable Minister for Work and Health. Yeah, so there you have it. To keep up with what we are cooking here and always, quickly and kindly subscribe to our channels on all social media platforms. Area Code is a talk show on a mission to recapture the sights and sounds of Africa. In no time, the agony experienced to and fro Eastern Nigeria while crossing the River Niger will be a thing of the past. Upon the handover of this laudable project by the formidable Julius Beja.
Okay, guys, I'm signing out on your favorite show, Area Code, a talk show on a mission to recapture the sights and sounds of Africa. On this episode, we have captured the second Niger Bridge ongoing project. If you're watching me right now and you've not subscribed to our channel on YouTube and you've not followed us on Facebook, kindly do so at Soja Films. Turn on your notification by pressing the bell so you stay abreast of every episode as soon as they drop as we explore Africa.